Hindsight is always 2020. Now, take a look at the future. Six pass. When you got central? I want this too. No. I'll sort you out inside. Tell them you're with me, Inspector Baker. Thanks. Clearance accepted. Clearance denied. Where's your clearance? Yeah, I'm with Inspector Baker. He's got the ID. He. Pound invasion, front desk. <laughs> I'm Inspector Baker. It wasn't you. I think somebody's been winding me up. Full name? Stephen Michael Springfield. Roll number? D1924. Date of birth? 23rd of March, 1997. The following officers have still not reported the vaccination. D.S. Roberts. What I find really weird is that a little prick like that can be so scary to a little prick like you. Me? Remember what you looked like when you first came here, Sergeant Keenan? Actually, yeah, a bit like this, but with a lot more money. Wait here, we'll have to find you a desk. Detective Sergeant Keenan. I need a quick word with DCI O'Connell. Sorry, the boss isn't around at the moment. Can I take a message? Come in. Uh, I thought a letter to the board might help my application. 
if there was any ambiguity about me. If? <laughs> you get caught drinking on the job. You have an affair with a brunette who's later convicted of arson against police property. I was having a rough time. And you managed to let all that get in the papers. So, <laughs> yes, of course, there's a couple of ifs. And I've paid my debts for all that. I've had to watch people with half my experience get ahead of me. <clears throat> Look, if I get the job, I'll forfeit the pay increase. My job for 20 grand a year less than me. You think that's going to swing it for you? It's a total bloody insult. Well, with respect, sir, if you move up to leader of the council, that 20 grand goes in your pocket. That's a bribe, O'Connell. You should be seeing your house flash before your eyes. I meant in your civic pocket. Did you? If you get the job, you get it on merit. Are there any outstanding merits? Enough to keep your dignity. I did ask you to apply. And can you tell me when the board are going to come to a decision? It's none of your business. Right. Where? Any happy returns, Billy? Not since last week. First night in, we're up for a bonus. A little Moscow, you can have mine. DCI O'Connell, voice check. Checking. Voice check, positive. DS Dewhurst, active. Check. DS Keenan, active. Check. D.C. Muir, active. Check. D.I. Sagar, absent. I'm qualified Check. to cover. D.I. Baker to cover Sagar. Check. Toilets. Correction, D.I. Sagar, active. Affirmative. I don't see a coordinator's name from up. Find out who's doing it. See what you can find out about what kind of weapons we're looking at. Make sure we're going to be covered by the independents. There isn't enough here to start dicking about with crowd control. Taking me dancing. I was doing women in power at the Rotary Club when this lot kicked off. God knows why I got sent for it. Look at the state of this dress. Can anybody tell me why I'm here if O'Connell's active? Is that bulletproof? It's not even windproof. I'm meant to be back on duty again at seven. Who's coordinating? O'Connell's asking who's coordinating, and I'm saying there's nobody else here. I'll cover for you until they get someone. Thanks, Marcia. Get DCI Beagley away. 
Don't bother, I've given them up. Your man's got his hostages in a service lift between the fourth and fifth floor. Find the witnesses, fill me in, lose the spectators. Surveillance is weak. Pete, what are you looking Half at? Half these cameras are knackered. Six, flat six, ten. We've had trouble from here before. This place is like a bloody VI. Where's the camera van car? I've to keep that camera stuck. I've been just asked sold three it. times okay. if we're having a riot. They're saying it like they've been invited to Can a Can somebody tell party? the independents it's not a bank holiday? How many independents have we got down there, Marsha? Not enough to control this crowd if it turns sour on us. And as far as I can see, half of them think they're out shopping. Everybody be aware, this is a sensitive area. The tenants are jumpy. Only get in the way if you have to. Hello? Who's that? Is anybody hurt? Yes! Fuse the emergency communications in the left. Come and look at this. So what you're saying is you observed the suspect proceeding south towards the lift in a dangerous manner, wielding a ballistic? No. What I'm saying is he was fat and ugly and that he went that way carrying something weird. And that way is west. And you can verify your associate's account of the scene of the crime scenario? You? You? Oi. Detective. You weren't interviewing witnesses by any chance, were you? No, I... Just crowd control. Good. There's the crowd. Right. Who saw what? We're counting six hostages. Who's the odd man out? This man. See that? Either he's pissing himself or he's bleeding to death. How long will it take to get an optic in? And I don't want double figures, bro. Well, we'll have to laser cut the roof with an ASP-20 to get a camera in, which is stainless steel. Simple with question, Brian. 30, 40 minutes. Too long. I knew you'd say that. The sober witnesses think it's three young couples. They'd all been down the Petersburg Club celebrating. Oh, Russian. The four of them definitely are. Somebody saw them going into the lift, heard a scream, heard a gunshot. But nobody knows the perp. He's either invading or he's new round here. I'm running checks on the tenant's register. Is Ostrovsky at home? He's on his honeymoon. I know he's on his honeymoon. Is he at home? Do we need him? Have you got any Russian keen? Go and get him. Just working. Every time, Brian. This is Detective Chief Inspector Billy O'Connell. Who am I talking to down there? You don't come near, all right? You don't come near me! It's OK. On two floors above, there's a mic and speaker in the lift shaft. Tell us what you're after. <laughs> you're a bloody paddy. I'm not going through all this to talk to a paddy. I want an Englishman. I hear you, fella. Mister, it's a bloody longshore to you, paddy. Did he say longshore? I need to know what you want. I want a new screw. I want a chopper. You've got to get me some kind of transport, a car. And I want a van carrying six coffins. Can you repeat that, please? Six coffins! I want six coffins! That's not a ransom, it's a bloody Christmas list. Does he know what kind of budget you're running? No locks on his side. The only chop we can trace is a civilian one coming up from Stafford. Just stay calm, Mr. Longshore. I'm here to make sure everybody does exactly what you want. The chopper's on its way. You hear me? Do you hear me? Officers on night call. You ring these rooms, you get these people out of bed, Mom. and you wait and you fill these desks, OK? That's your job, OK? OK. Please enter access code. Code verified. State password. Can somebody tell me the password? I need to make calls. <sighs> it's 
Springfield. Incorrect. Clearance denied. Stephen Springfield. Clearance denied. I'm new. Clearance denied. If we don't get his leg fixed, he's going to die. Is he? Look, you didn't do this deliberately. We all know it was an accident. We can stop all this. But we have to get him help. Don't move! Don't move! You don't move! This is a bloody disgrace. It's on his honeymoon. It's a Connell's orders, not mine. That was a really good day. Story of my life. Mickey, how you doing? So when are you sending him back? See you later. I'm ready. Detective Constable Mikhail Ostrovsky, voice check. Negative. <clears throat> Detective Constable Mikhail Ostrovsky, voice check. Weapons received from DS Keenan. Confirm. Confirmed. I'm not giving anybody orders. I'm. What's your name again? Springfield. And you are? I'm new. Look, we've got a code five on the floor. We Go need cover. Fuck yourself. DC Springfield. It's Joe Baker here. Can I speak to DI Baker? Units two and seven. Tell our operation Tentos. Just Mom. say that. Units three and six, you're to escort the on-site surgical unit coming from within. Mom. Shore. Take a message. It's your husband. He says it's urgent. It says Operation Tentos. Tell them all we know is one injured male losing blood. Did he sound nervous? I don't know. Has he got a stammer normally? You must be the surgeon. How did I guess? I'm limited for time. You'll have to check some backup. I'm going to have someone posted on the car. We've got an intermuscular wound, and I might need you to pipe instructions through to someone to stem the flow. And we've all had medical training, have we? My husband used to be a police surgeon. Then perhaps your husband will be kind enough to step in when I have to leave it too. He's dead. My apologies. You're booked till six, you work till six, and the only thing you get posted on your car is a couple of dog turds unless you learn some bloody manners. DCI Beagley to units four and five. Get the north and south access to the I've Marsha Beagley, still coordinating. Unless you have any serious objection, we'd like to leave her in there. It could be a well-timed opportunity to study the pair of them in action. But O'Connell's the one in the firing line. Which we're told from experiences when he most needs expert guidance. marsha has got that kind of history. O'Connell's got a fairly distinguished history of his own. <laughs> we're well aware of that. Talk to the tenants, give limited information, but for God's sake, find out who he is. Is anybody going to give me anything on this guy? What the hell am I supposed to be talking to him about? I've nothing to work with. Commander wants you. So, has anybody been hurt since you got there? No. 
No. I'll credit yourself with that, okay? You're doing fine. Better than most. Look, they're all working as fast as they can to bring you intelligence. You just got to hold on tight. Have you covered the exits? I don't have enough people to cover all the exits. Look, I could be wrong, but if he's cornered himself in the center of the building, I don't think he's any intention of coming out of there alive. You're in no position to make those judgments at this stage, O'Connell. The demands don't make sense. The chopper's there to wake everybody up. The news crew's there to make sure the world is watching. And the coffins he wants on display to make everybody nervous. He's setting up a stage show. Somebody faxed half a dozen Baltic journals today, complaining about lack of police attention with immigrant situations. That's absolute crap. And it's absolutely the week before local elections, and nobody cares whether it's crap. We've got three Baltic candidates blowing off already about us not taking this siege seriously. I've brought everybody I could. The man stirring the soup is doing a bloody good job. It's in a lot of people's interest to see trouble spark this week. Well, send me more people. You can have as many as we can spare, which is as many as you've got now. Thanks. You're welcome. And O'Connell, you can't afford any bodies tonight. I wasn't planning any. And I'm saying you can't afford any. Not tonight, you understand me? Is that him? If it is, he used to live here till about ten years back. Get it circulated. See if anybody knows him. Use your Russian with the tenants. Bring back something for me, okay? See if anybody's ordered food. I'm starving. Uh, Strovsky! It was a great wedding. Whoa! Hold on. Don't leave the estate wearing them. Some of the kids have got hold of a digital adjuster and they're jamming the frequency. You'll have to use Granny Annie's. They're analog. You can get Vladivostok on these. See if your mum's finished that card. <laughs> Great. We can tell everyone we made him on a woodwork bench. <laughs> Move! Edward Longshaw. Eddie. This is O'Connell. How are your guests? Uh, you can find out who I am just like that. But you still can't find me an Englishman. Don't you think there's something wrong with that? Marsha. No bloody chance. Eddie. Nothing would please me more than finding you an Englishman to sit where I'm sitting. Look, the guy you've shot, he's losing too much blood. Keeping him there is changing your future. You turn yourself into a murderer, and we stop negotiating. We need to get him to a hospital. Stop negotiating or what? You're gonna come in and get me? Piss off, Paddy! Vital signs stable, Doctor. IV entered on plasma. Check plasma, check. Holding. Holding. Entering now. Ready with oxygen. Organs responding well. Mrs. Baker. Where the hell have you been? My husband said it was urgent. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a busier night than any of us expected. Is something wrong? Your baby's showing signs of fetal arousal. But we're four weeks away. It's only a stage four arousal. It could be a spasm for all we know. How come it's a spasm? Not very, but I'm stressing. I don't want you panicking, Mrs. Baker. I've got on file that you work nights. Are you ringing from work? Is there any kind of risk? All the signs are saying your baby's very healthy indeed. When will you know if it's actually happening? 
next few hours. Are you ringing from work? Yes. Get yourself home, get some sleep. You don't know what kind of night you've got ahead. Can you take this number? Manchester 314 7194. That breaks any other call. I'm a police officer, so it's confidential. Understood. And Christine, stay calm. Shit, shit, shit. Chris? <gasps> Can I do anything? I'm not ready. Can I? No. Why aren't these deaths filled yet? That's the only job I've given you. Why aren't these deaths filled yet? Sorry. I'm getting really bad reactions from the standbys. Are you? Apologies on her behalf. Uh, we've just found out our baby's due tonight. It's next vitro birth. We're not to panic. When you're called to the floor, you bloody come to the floor. You do not take advantage of a rookie. I want you up there in ten minutes with your kit on or off. I don't care. Or you'll be out of a job and on the streets with your kit on or off. Take a second to think about that. That chopper from Stafford. Yeah. Sector 7's recall it for an arm raid. You're not going to get it. Are you going to tell him? I'll tell him when I have to. <laughs> Trick question. How many of you are paying tax? Can't answer me that, can you, Boris? We all are. And the name is no. Yuri. What? Yuri. No. Yuri. Look, I'm a nurse. My friend is going to die. We have to help him. You see, you reckon faking my language, faking my life. Nobody notices you. You don't stick out, yes? Well, you're wrong. Because I can spot your milk-sucking bastards a mile off. So don't start talking to me about helping people, all right? Don't talk to me like you know me, because I'll blow your heads off. Eddie, if you start playing rough, I'm going home. If I go home, you were talking to yourself till they bury you. Okay. Now forget the hostages. You talk to me. Is he quiet out there? Buddy? Quiet enough. <laughs> well, that's the first. What can you see? A lot of people. They know you're here. They're looking worried. Most people don't. So they look pretty normal. Does that bother you, Eddie? <laughs> Ring me tomorrow and ask me again. You're gonna be a busy boy tonight! Problem. The Russian Information Centre in the precinct's been firebombed now. The office wasn't occupied, but there weren't much left of it by morning. Five or six kids. We've picked two of them up, but they say nothing except they're the front line. How old? The oldest is about 14. We're too young to know what front line was. Anti-refugee movement. Collective IQ of about two. Disbanded five years back owing to lack of motivation. But these were posted around the estate this week. DCI Beagley wants you, private line. Marsha. Have you seen the leaflets? I'm looking at them. You hear about the Russian centre? Yeah. We've just had a Molotov off the top floor. It's filling up down here, and I don't think they've all come to watch. Can we get Johnson to do a, a deal with the independent police? A deal with what? They've smelt trouble already. No, have them on the phones to the Mortons. Commander Johnson wants to know why you two are on a private line. Johnson wants to know where we're on a private line. Well, tell him we're ordering pizzas. Can you talk, Billy? Go ahead. I've just worked out why they haven't sent me a replacement. Have you applied for Johnson's job? What? You know there's a seniors' meeting tonight. 
So? Well, there is, and they're going to make a decision, aren't they? Well, what's that got to do with why you're here? Well, why do you think? Why didn't you tell me you were up for it? Well, same reason you didn't tell me. I was asked to apply. So was I. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Marcia. I, I... So what? We've been set up here to score points off each other. No, we're here to handle the situation. That's all I'm planning to do. So long as that's all you're planning to do, we're all right. All right? Fine. Billy. Yes. Candy, why aren't you asleep? I miss you. I miss you and all. Bloody hate it here. Look, I'm sorry about this afternoon. I let you down. Sex is the only thing I'm good at and I couldn't even manage a hard on. Stop doing yourself down, all right? It's just this job. Everything I've ever heard about this place is five times worse. Bad temper, bloody lunatics. I wish I was back at Salford. Oh, so you're happy with a one-bedroom flat? Right. No, but... You're not prepared to sacrifice anything to improve our standard of living? I'm here, aren't I? Big day next Saturday, then. Big day. I'll run you a bath. I'll rub you in baby oil. And I'll smear it down your back. And down your legs. And up your legs. Then I'm gonna bang you till your ears pop. Okay. You hear me? And guess what? What? I've just ordered a breakfast set from KDL and my credit card's full. Can I use yours? Right. Wait! Where did that come from? Now that wasn't bloody kids, was it? Did anybody see who? Cover the east exit, make sure the east exit Did anybody blocks. see which balcony? Cover the bridge, Not the make fourth. sure they can't it go away. It came from above me. Fifth of Moscow. We need two fire tenders. One for now, me one for included. standby. We don't know what we're into here. Have I done anything wrong? And have any of us actually done anything wrong? Notice nobody asked him to speak for the rest of us. No, we are doing nothing. We're always doing that. Ignore him, Mr. Longso. You can talk to me if you want. My name's Catalina. Shut it! Can you hear me up there? Hey, shut your mouth, you. I just want you to know Eddie didn't shoot this man deliberately. Shut, shut, shut. He fired at the control panel. Shut your mouth! The injury was an accident. Just okay, I got shut my your name mouth! Katalina Vojkovic. Just shut it! <laughs> She's a copper. Katalina Vojkovic, she's a copper. What have you done, Eddie? Talk to me! For Christ's sake, Eddie, what have you done? Marcia! I heard. She's one of mine, but she's only just joined us. Came last month from North Manchester. I barely know her. Just Keenan. I've only talked to her once or twice in the social club. She drinks well. She plays pool. She got a family? I don't know. Get me a drink. You think that's a good idea? Now. I think it's a great idea now. Somebody's breathing. I can definitely hear breathing. You can't all be dead. Eddie.
Eddie. Uh, had you there, Billy. Seen the headlines, weren't you? And that's funny. That's funny, Eddie. <laughs> oh, at least it made a bit of a noise. Now, you listen to me. Nobody gives two shits whether you top yourself or not. Go on, go ahead. Paint the ceiling, you miserable bastard! Cut it out, Billy. Who gave you the right to Shut up, Billy. Like if you're burning out, you swap with me. If you've hurt anyone else... I'm, I'm cutting you your now, line, Billy. I will come down there and... Miserable, self-centred, fat bastard! You're offline, Billy. Calm down, OK? You talk to me. And what was that a display of, we ask ourselves? Tension, anxiety, fear. Sound of someone shitting themselves. Is it warm enough in here for you, Frank? I apologize. That was out of order. You don't know me, so you weren't expecting it. I have a bit of a reputation for being a gobshite. Actually, even the people who do know me weren't expecting that one. You know what tonight is, Eddie? Besides you, it's my promotions board. I've applied for unit commander, and not for the first time. Now, they're all watching me, watching you, and wondering if I've got the elegance of a senior officer. What do you think, Eddie? Give me your vote. My vote is... My vote is... Maybe they should take their job and shove it right up their arses. I shouldn't be begging anybody for attention at my age. You know what I mean, Eddie. Now, I'll get this over with, whichever way you want to take it, Eddie. I'll go back to the job, and you know what I'm going to do? Exactly what I'm paid for. Check in, do the business, check out. I'm sick of second-guessing other people. You included. Hmm? You got me sobbing here. You'd be sobbing if you got one of the others tonight. I can think of three seniors who would have gassed you by now. You'd be waking up in a magistrate's court, wondering where all the bruises came from. And you care enough about what I feel to leave me here talking? Oh, crap! No, I don't care. I don't care about you at all. It's the other poor bastards I'm thinking about. Your confusion. Their hard luck. I'm not confused. No. All you've done since you've got the centre of attention is tell everybody how shocking it is that the place is crawling with Russians. You lived here in 2010. It was crawling with Russians then, wasn't it? Not this many. Wrong. More. You checked out when the only language they could speak was their own. You came back when they could speak both very well. But they choose to speak their own. They've integrated, Eddie. They've 
I've left you behind. I know what I'm doing. So do I. But I've always imagined suicide was a private thing. I'm shaking. Well, don't hold on to me. We'll drill holes in the floor. The extension's not finished. The nursery doesn't even have any paper on. But you tell Tentos that. I booked the week of the 14th to be a nervous wreck. Sir, can I have a word? Not now. Great. Have you checked this? O'Connell. Christine. I'm getting intelligence on an Eddie Longshaw. A tax reference for last year shows him trading a business under the name of Knickknacks. The business address is the site office for the open market in Little Moscow. I'm scanning for current data. Good. Well done. I'm bang in the middle of a trial. A Karpov trial? How much does it cost? Can you put this through the PDU? You know how to use it? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm meant to be in the senior prosecutor's team. I mean, I can't just walk away from a major public trial, can I? Of course I can. I have to. You have to? Oh, my God. What? The things, the furniture, the cot, the sterilizer, the air conditioning. Well, we've bought all that. No, we've ordered it, we've paid for it, but it's not due until next month. Yes, but... Well, surely we can... No, you're right. You're right. Bloody music, Dan, you might be able to understand me. Perhaps have you seen this guy at all? There's a stall holder on this market, you've not seen it, no? You want to have a word with these ignorant bastards? Remind them who stops this place becoming like the real bloody Moscow. They're nervous. They've heard there's going to be trouble. This man runs underwear stall all the day. We know that from the records. Does anybody know where he lives? He's been seen putting rubbish in the waste chute on the ninth floor. Let's see what else we can find out. Dish out some Valium if they start twitching. So, who is detective in the lift? A friend? I met her having a drink. I said she's friendly. I didn't say she was a friend. You sleeping with her? None of your business, Ostrovsky. So. The only Russians you drop your guard for are the ones who drop their knickers for you. Keen Nobody. You're a liar. Don't call me a liar. We've seen coffins being unloaded. You think we are all morons in here? The situation is under control. According to the caretaker, somebody got shot in there. If that was an Englishman, if that was you, or you, the police would have got it out by now. I'm Russian. Now, my friend, you used to be. You OK? Does it matter? Hey, if you think I came round your house because I wanted to, Mickey, think again. O'Connell sent me. But that's what this is all about, isn't it? I thought this was about you being abusive to immigrants. No, it's about you being an uptight, stubborn shit. If I've got something to say, I come straight out with it. Then it suits you. But you, you sulk and sweat and sit on it till it all blows up as something else. OK, it's true. I sulk. Don't ever come around to my house again. Don't ever get within breathing distance of my wife again. Or I'll rip your balls off. Sir. There. We both feel better now. Hmm?
ninth floor of B block. Nobody's Are we gonna get talking. fed tonight? Muir, Dewhurst, Troy E block. Keenan Ostrovsky takes C block. You can't have that many friends protecting him if he's down there on his own. Billy, tonight. the news crew's just turned off. What kind of a deal do you want me to do with them? This is police assistance. We're guaranteed an exclusive. Further to which we get advance notice on the development of the riots. And what riots then? We were told there's a riot. Hey, look. Is that a riot? Is that a riot? Not yet. Not ever. So you start stirring it on air and I'll do you for it, Simon. You do not use the word riot. Understand me? So what's Captain Kremlin doing here? He only ever comes out of the house for trouble. Oh, jeez. Mr. Spray, Chef, I'm sorry. There's no parking here. Emergency vehicles only. I'm sorry. Great business. Fine, get an ambulance. We're gonna need some help. We've got a code 10. Where? Night Market. Uh, one of the independents used a stunner. We've requested an ambulance. This news crew's winding everybody up. Can we get rid of them? Beagley to Commander Johnson. You see, it's brush you, I'm. It's not until we had a trollic. And yet. It's been yet. Beautiful. Done it. Give me your own number. I don't have to give you anything. I'll talk to my boss. Hey, Clint. Give her your own number, and you give me your weapon. 71427 Simpson. 71427 I'm here. Simpson. We need to get people home, close the market, tell them it'll be for their own safety. But there's not enough of us. They'll just ignore that. Fine. Tell them the electricity gets pulled in 15 minutes. Marsha? Yeah? Where's that coming from? Close so I can get to corner curfew. It's getting silly down here. Does Johnson know? I had to clear it with him, yeah? You cleared it with him before you cleared it with me? I'm coming upstairs. Clear it. I'm not going in there. Why not? I haven't been for my booster. Why did you just say that to stop kids from breaking in? After you. Live here, not here. Sixth floor. He came out of here one morning. I, I thought I was seeing things. Dear Keenan's control. We're in his flat, ninth floor, nine three zero. There's not a lot to see, but it might be worth getting forensics down here. She was this guy's neighbor ten years ago. Friend of the family. I used to babysit years back. You know where the rest of the family are living now? But they are all dead. I thought he was too. What about kids? If you used to babysit, there must have been kids. But they are all dead. She may be weary. Women do get weary. 
wearing the same shabby dress. But when she's weary, try a little tenderness. Talk to me. You know she's waiting. Just anticipating things that she'll never, never, never possess. But while she's waiting, try a little tenderness. Police are vehemently denying there's a problem in this community, but the scenes behind us testify to growing concerns that there's going to be a repeat of the horrendous riots we saw in 2007. All the Russian community leaders have appeared on the scene to try and calm the situation. What's the definition of a paranoiac? A bloke who cuts his reflection shaving. What's the matter with you? Has he asked what happened to the helicopter we keep losing? No. Has he repeated any of his demands? Well, why should he? He'd never any intention of using them. No, but if that's his only bargaining factor, why isn't he stamping his feet? What? What is he so happy about if we haven't met one single demand yet? Oh, he got his coffins. He can't see the coffins. And he's got us all sitting here waiting on something. Brian? Where's Brian? I'm getting the bomb squad in. Yeah. Grab as many uniforms as you can. Get all civilians out of the building. Alexander Sprecher, a front runner in the elections for leader of the city council, is with us now. Mr. Sprecher, you're very disappointed with the way the police have handled the affair. I'm sorry. I'm receiving information that all the main buildings are currently being evacuated. It's rumoured that the Army Bomb Disposal Unit have been called in. Uh, we'll uh, bring you news of that as soon as we're... as soon as we have it. Love is the only happiness. It's just so easy. All you've got to do is try a little tenderness. <laughs> Tracked what looks like a device between levels 15 and 16. Have we got an ETA on the firecrackers? Five minutes, and Brian, don't mess with it. Repeat, do not mess with it. Well, all right, then. Four to 17 are clear. 16 down to nine should be swept in about three minutes. We've got hundreds of kids down here. What are we supposed to do with them? It's just so easy. All you've got to do is try a little tenderness. Yes?
We've got some 30 year old butties here if anybody's interested. Bloody expensive waste of time. Yeah. We made that decision together, didn't we? Thank you. His wife, Dorothy. His daughter. Her husband, two sons. They all died within a week of each other. When was this? Ten years ago. About six months after this. Anybody asked for me? I asked for you. Where have you been? Yes, she is. One sec. It's intelligence, it's urgent. Speak to me later. Hello? Hello? Who's that? Who is this? My wife. Hello? Candy, I'll ring you back. This guy's family died ten years ago. We're trying to find the attending physician. I needed your rank to get into the data bank. Why didn't you bleep me? I did. Your bleep was on your desk. I'm sorry. Thank you. Pleasure. Brian, I need a face. I need to see the guy's face. When will you yep. get me a picture? Brian! Boss, you're feeding the optic cable in now. What are you up to? I'm trying to minimize the damage you have done. Yuri. Move away. Get where I can see your faces. If he doesn't die, he'll lose his leg. They'll have to amputate. <laughs> Look on the good side. There's the insurance money. He's 24 today. He's just qualified as a lawyer. He comes here with bugger all, goes through university, goes back to Borisville, a lawyer. I'm paying for that. We paid for all that. Greg got a scholarship from the Russian Center. It's cost you nothing. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Groups, little groups. You walk down my street, you're talking like Martians to each other. Nobody apologizes. He'll be earning 200 grand a year when he's 25. And nobody's apologizing for that either. Operative word is earning, isn't it? If you're looking for media coverage, point that thing at me. I'm a cop. Wrong. Oh, shit. Uh, that sorts that out, then. You've just voted yourself first out of him. Oh, come here. Just come here. Eddie? If you're thinking of joining your family, it doesn't work like that. Now, you lost your family ten years ago. We have Mrs. Galubkov here. You two don't get on. She takes away everything I've got and sends flowers to the funeral. Your family died from TB, Eddie. And where did they get it from? It's an airborne virus. Her! They got it from her, the filthy old cow! Her! She's not very well. She gets my wife down there cooking her meals. She doesn't want to see the doctor. Is she insured? No, 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 no. They never are. Well, she waits until she feels so ill, they rush her into the infirmary. But it's all right. She's out of the woods. The quarter in time. Big deal! Every day, thinking it's like, 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 like flu. She's been touching her, washing her. Dorothy was the first to go down. She, she had a temperature like, oh, 105. She couldn't do anything on it. Only talk to me, me, in the next bed. There's my 25-year-old daughter, our Jackie. And two floors below, I've got her husband and my boys, my two sons. <laughs> well, in the 
space of 20 some miles, every single one of them is dead. They just gave up and vanished on me. All five of them. Don't you think I'm entitled to take a little bit back extra, O'Connell? Is sex too much? What would you do, O'Connell? I don't know. I want people to know where it came from. Their country goes shit-shaped, so they come over here as refugees. Well, that's all right. It's not my choice, but I can see the point. I can live with it. And then suddenly they start breeding like bloody rats. They're everywhere you turn. And they're bringing diseases with them. Well, I'm not going to sit back and watch my country get chewed up and shit out by a, by a bunch of bloody cuckoos. I'm confused, Eddie. What's tonight all about? Your country or your family? Same thing, same thing. How come I lose everything? Don't even get any compensation. And there's probably six carriers in here who've got better jobs than I'll ever get. Come on, Eddie. Everybody's lost somebody to TB. Most were lost in 2004, the year before we opened the door to refugees. Hey, don't say we when you mean us. You're a paddy. You're as bad as these bastards. And what, the answer to that is just stir the shit and see us all dead? Yes. What are you trying on, Connell? What are you doing? That's not me. I swear that's not us. I'll start shooting if you piss me about. Not on my life! Nobody's doing that! It's not your life. You best not be. What? The laser control for the counterbalance has been ripped off the wall. Still giving a signal, but the pulse is dying. What's he done that? Well, it was all right when I was last up there. Bum disposal equipment could have screwed up. Ten words are on there. No box, no traction, just gravity. Boom. Can you fix it? We could drill under the nearest door aperture, rig suspension bars or something, so it drops, say, eight feet max. How long? We need to find a way of getting a drilling rig seven floors up. How long? Do you know where there's a drilling rig? What else? Fire brigade. Get them to inflate airbags up from the first floor. Will that work? Yeah. I don't know. No. Get the fire brigade, get the engineers, and don't you bleed and talk to me unless you really have to. Inspector Baker to DCI O'Connell. Christine, go ahead. I forgot to be good news. I've found Dr. Wingrove. He took care of the family before they died. Only four of them died on the 17th of February. The fifth one, his wife Dorothy, didn't go until the morning of the 18th. She died at 0340. Uh, yeah, can you bring Dr. Wingrove down here? We're coming now. Your husband, it's urgent. Patch him through. Marsha? Marsha? Billy? I told you he was waiting for something. I think I've found something. You'll have to come downstairs. You should see this. You should see it. Put your vision on. I'm on foot, you turkey. Has the doctor been back? Not to me, no. You said this was urgent. It is. I've never seen anything like it. Say hello. 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 You get here. How come we are panicking when she's at work? Your mum, she's barking. Have you been drinking? No. Not much. This is all brilliant, though. The nursery's now what colour? Yellow. Yellow. The air conditioning's in, the pram is... It's a pram, you fool. He's drunk. <laughs> it's aired, and the whole house is absolutely bloody spotless. Joe, this is a really bad time to be having a conversation, but I'm glad you rang. Bye. Celebration. Not yet. I'm having a baby tonight. Ex vitro. Gosh. I haven't really come to terms with all that. 
It still amazes me. Me too. I've lost three pregnancies. Here. I think that's his granddaughter. Anything on that trace? Winona Cresswell. That's his daughter's married name. Childcare registration from the age of six. Arrested for shoplifting, age 14, last year. And this is definitely her last registered address. Yeah? No? Yes? He's driving. Switch your bloody printer on and leave it on. Sorry. Boss, this isn't working. We're running out of time. I have one suggestion, but uh, you're not going to like it. Hey, come on! What was Paul's done now? I'm DS Keen and this is DC Ostrovsky. We just want to talk to you. Oh, well, if you want to talk to me, you've got to buy me a drink. We spent the last eight hours with your granddad, Winona. At the long show, that's your grandfather. Don't know what you're talking about. Has he sent you? No, he hasn't. He's got people at gunpoint. He says he's going to kill them. We need you to come and talk to him. If he shoots him, do you shoot him? Nobody wants to. But it could end up like that. Good. She's not in trouble. Nobody's going to hurt her. Winona, please. I'm all right. He don't know if I'm dead or alive, so you tell me why I should do anything for that twat. Six innocent people. Not much older than you and your mates. And they don't know what's going on in there. In where? Little Moscow, where you used to live. Don't remember. He's got them trapped in a lift, wondering how long they've got left to live. Please. Seven people in that car, the impact weight's gonna be nearly ten tons. You need double that many. How are things there? He's not the fastest in the world. And he farts like a brewery chimney. <laughs> Eddie, let me drop a harness. We could get you all out through the roof. I can barely feel his pulse. Keep me. Let them go. Keep me, please. I'll stay with you, Eddie. One's no good. It had to be six. I waited for six!
<laughs> you mad bastard. Police. into this lift, with the door shut, and I was standing there pointing this, looking at all your faces. <laughs> I was shitting myself. I knew you could tell. <laughs> I've never shot anybody, never hurt anybody. Could I do it? Well, there's no going back, so I had to. <laughs> now I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. We all die anyway. Somewhere fast, when you lads. And I'll see. Satisfied? No, actually. We're on a call, you shagging ape. We're coppers. The ID says we're coppers. Yeah, well, that document could be fake. It'll take a while to check out. But I say, go for it. Thank you. That's Russian and Irish. What do you love? Tim Book 2. No! <laughs> Ostrovsky to channel 36. Where the bloody hell are you? You're about three minutes to you. In what? A milk flow? Never, never, because I am. She's waiting. Try a little tender. You're that special, Eddie, that didn't even send you a car. You asked for what? A chopper, a car, a news crew, and six coffins. The cheap bastard didn't even come up with a car. That's so completely unspecial, it's hilarious. I mean, I work for them. You had no chance. You'll kill us all and it'll barely get into the papers over my news line. Fact. 45 million was spent on immigration last year. Oh, you read quality papers, Eddie. You get bubbles, you get captions. Fact. You walk into any TB ward, and it's 40% occupied by immigrants. Now, you ask people what they think about that, and they'll tell you. They're disgusted! Fact. Infection figures have dropped, not increased in the last five years. If the immigrants are so toxic and fertile, how is it possible, Eddie? How? I don't know, precious. Maybe they're just killing the scuzzy ones before they get to... Dover, that's what I'd do. Get them all on board, land them on glory. Boats for everybody, that's right, this way, Boris. Get them all on board and then blow the bleeding boat out of the water. <laughs> OK. Start counting back. I'm 60. Count back. She counts from five. Fifty-eight. Well, you can't kill us all at once. What are you going to do? <laughs> Try and jump me first. Fifty-four. Fifty-three. Fifty-two. Fifty-one. 
You know Dr. Wingrove, Eddie? Denied. He's not sentimental. Remember Dr. Wingrove? She has a grief and a care. Software. Eddie, I have Dr. Wingrove here. I'll just make it easy to bear. He remembers Dorothy. <laughs> All you've got to do is. Wife, Dorothy. He used to talk to her every day just before she died. You know what she said to him? Do you want to? Thirty-seven. I can put him on line if you like. Thirty-five. No. Why not? Because he blows your theory out of the water. Because he's solid proof that your wife infected Mrs. Golubkov, not the other way around. Dorothy's TB was third stage developed. Mrs. Golubkov was only primary. 25. But you know that already. 24. Don't you, Eddie? 23. Look, the best deal I can get is two years for discharging a weapon. You'd serve half that. This is the worst prison I could think of. I inherited three houses in one day, O'Connell. Who puts that right? Yeah, you let them rot. Couldn't you have saved one for Winona? Jackie's child, your first and only granddaughter, Winona. Ten. Nine. Eight. You let her go into care when her mother died. Six. Five. Do you want to know what happened to her, Eddie? She's here. Do you want to see her? If you're there and you can see this, I want you to know that I'm not doing it for you. No. I don't know why you're blaming anybody else for my mum's death. The last I heard, you were blaming yourself. This was from Nano. As in Dad's side. Dear Winona. Your mouth's too young to understand any of this. But by the time you get hold of it, hopefully it'll make sense. It didn't. She died six months after the rest of him. So I was six when I got it. Eddie's probably told you by now what happened. And I know he blames himself. But the truth of it is, nobody on God's earth should be held responsible for a tragedy like that. They were just taken away. He's only been round once since your mum and dad died. But I know Edda, and I know it's a big effort for him. I know he'll make this right with you because he loves you so much. <coughs> You're the only thing he's got left. Well, everybody kept saying that, but where were you? I just, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. <laughs> That's all I want to say to him. Why was it your fault, Eddie? If I let her die, there'd be nobody left. She's not going to die. She had her TX2 vaccine at school. You had yours when you worked for Dunlop. But your family weren't covered, were they? They should have been, Eddie. They all had vaccination certificates when you went on holiday to Florida. Because Florida was high risk then. They were charging 90 quid each for tickets, toads. I'd already paid for the holiday. I was footing the bill for the tickets because the rest of them were scant. That's 400 quid. <laughs> Damn it. Say so about forged certificates. 
Made it work. Are you there? Winona? Has she gone? It's contraband. <laughs> no bloody good smoke, though. Uh, you come look front. No, we're not budging. And yes, it's wine. And yes, we're smoking. And turn the mics off. Well done. Well done yourself. You know, you once told me that the only people working nights were sad bastards with no life. <laughs> Well, for God, I said it. But it's true. I mean, look at me. I've only been doing what they pay me for since Nick got killed. I wouldn't have applied unless I'd been pushed to. We did it all right, didn't we? Did we do it all right? You did all right. Listen, I just want you to remember that when we were the same rank, we got on very well. So when you're commander, I don't want any of this status shit. We're mates. Well done, Billy. Bloody well done. Thank you, sir. Shall we catch up in my office? It was a dead cert nine hours ago. I never said dead cert. I said you were... What went wrong? Huh? It's gone to Marsha. He's been taking the money and running for two she years. She lost her husband. Who doesn't even want the bloody job. Where the hell were you looking? Look. That's what it all looked like from our end. It was Marshall's decision to order a curfew, to stifle a riot. There was no riot. No, there wasn't. People gave her the credit for that. And in all fairness... I just saved six hostages. There's nothing hypothetical about that. Go and talk to them, Johnson. 
I know what you did, so don't Johnson me. I was on your side. You got my vote. Don't you talk to me like a bloody five-year-old. Well, stop behaving like one and sit down. Piss off. O'Connell! Piss off! No! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no. No, come in. I was told you needed a testimony from me. No, not in a hurry. You can give it to Marsha when you're ready. Take a seat. You okay? I feel like I've been kicked by a horse. I thought I ought to warn you. None of the other hostages want to make a testimony. Neither will I. He could have killed you. The longer he spends in prison, the longer the girl goes without him. It makes no sense. He'll probably end up back on the estate, and it's us you have to live there. Well, you earn enough not to. Which is why I want to stay. Sounds very Russian. Very noble. But they'll call it insubordination. I have done worse, sir. This hurts. I need my bed. Are you leaving? Good. You have a nice voice. Be sad to see the back of it. There you are. It's a boy. Would you look at him? Dear God. Oh, my grandson. <gasps> we did it. Sorry. Sir. Shit. Shit.
Next Sunday at 9, we begin a new series of the hospital drama that follows the entangled lives of six trainee nurses staying alive. Do you want to know the answer to life, the universe and everything? Keep watching. The most anticipated series in years. You're the right man for this. Not a cop. From the creator of the X-Files. The man with the X-ray eyes. It's the same killer. How do you do it, Frank? It's my gift. It's my curse. He'll kill again. The thousand years is over! LWT, next Sunday at 10, Millennium, coming sooner than you think.